Ty and Nikki today, the assistant sheriff, revealed that they believe Kevin Neal shot and killed his wife and hid her body under the floor of their house before going on that deadly crime spree throughout Rancho Tehama. We spoke to some neighbors who say they actually were not surprised at all to hear Neal was the man responsible for all of this. Quiet stillness in Rancho Tehama, one day after a shooter terrorized the small community. The gunshots could be heard from a mile away. They were loud. Assistant Sheriff Phil Johnston says the shooting spree started with Kevin Neal killing his wife inside their home. We located her dead body uh, concealed under the floor of the residence last night. Uh, she was an obvious victim of gun several gunshot wounds. We believe that's probably what started this whole event. It ended with Neal shot and killed by police. Neal's wife and four others were murdered. 14 more were hurt, a crime spree with a motive that's still unclear. I think he had a desire to kill as many people as he could. Jesse Sanders used to live near Neal on Bobcat Way. He says he was constantly firing his weapons and constantly feuding with neighbors. Tuesday, he saw him firing rounds at the elementary school. And I see him shooting at the school and I said, hey, why don't you shoot this way? You know, where there ain't no women and kids. One day later, the school is empty, a metal gate twisted, windows boarded up, neighbors thinking about the children who were inside on lockdown as bullets flew toward their school. The kids, I'm sure, are going to be scarred, some of them forever, and some of them will be able to push through it. Sheik Sievers recognizes the teachers and the administrators for making a quick decision to go on lockdown, a decision that likely saved lives. They were probably the last line of defense for those children. Were they the heroes? Without a doubt. And Kevin Neal was no stranger to law enforcement here in Tehama County. Law enforcement says that he was recently out on bail for an assault with a deadly weapon charge. They also say they found two illegally manufactured semi-automatic weapons inside of his home. This is obviously a shocking crime spree for this community. This is a small community. Tonight, they are coming together in this location where we are here. This is the community hall. They're going to be having a candlelight vigil. We'll be back at 630 to bring you more on that. For now, we're live in Tehama County. Allie Wolf, Fox 40 News. Allie, thanks again. We'll see you at 630.